Uh, thank you, Valerie, for your wonderful speech about uh, pyramid uh, meditation, pyramid uh, technology, and uh, some of the viewers have some questions for you. I hope you can uh, answer yeah, these sure. questions for us. For, for sure, I can. So you can as ask. You, sure. The first question is, as you spoke about the effects of pyramids on the cell of living beings, do you believe that pyramids as a tool of healing can be used to deal with severe ailments in the bod human body? Can it heal cancer and COVID positive symptoms? If yes, do you suggest a miracle medicine in the future or even now created through pyramid energy? First of all, I'm sure that the serious, let's say, jump in medicine when our doctors will be able to heal the most severe illnesses, which today we cannot heal. We will be able to do this, and it will be done through or with the help of the pyramids. I'm sure about it. Because, again, I'd like to point out how pyramid is working. Because we need, pyramid is creating kind of a channel. It, it gives, it br it's bringing the energy of the universe. Actually, universe, this is the body of the God. So, and why we have all these illnesses? Just because we are losing this interaction, this channel, this contact. God is listening to us, but we are not listening to him. So this channel between us is working one way. So to establish this second way between each other, we need to use this instrument, the pyramids. And when the pyramids is improving this connection between the universe, the body of the, of, uh, of the God, and us, any illness, any can be healed. And this is the reason why I tell you now, I, have, I myself have been the witness mm -hmm. of so unusual recuperations when awful cancers have been healed for a few days. Wow. I tell you, pyramid is a very special number one tool. And as long as I see what's going on now, in our world around the pyramid, mm -hmm. I'm sure that approximately in 20, 25 years, this problem will be solved. And medicine will make unbelievable step. So let's say, remember our conversation today, 20, 25 years maximum, this step will be done, and this will be done with the help of the pyramids. Okay. It's, it's a really amazing technology that uh, pyramid has, and I wish uh, everybody could uh, see that. People, people must visit the pyramids more often. People must meditate more often, because mm -hmm. meditation is also a very unusual practice. In my nearest, maybe with nearest days, I'm going to, to write and publish material. This is kind of a filtered out from the ancient texts and knowledge about mm -hmm. meditation and what ancients knew about it, how they use it. So it's, it's amazing, I tell you, amazing knowledge. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that Meditation will also play a decisive role in human development. I'm sure about it. Okay. So, uh, one more question uh, on this line. So, when, when, I, when I meditate as like an, in an open air versus when I meditate under the pyramid, would we see any amplifying energy that comes to us or any... Uh, better meditation that 
kind of helps us to meditate better under pyramid? First of all, we should, uh, as I told during my presentation, when mm -hmm. we are coming to the pyramid, we need to be there for until the very special effect and meditate, synchronization. Mm -hmm. Pyramid is synchronizing your aura, the vibration of your aura, yeah. with the vibration of the aura of the earth. Just at the moment when vibration have been synchronized, at this moment you will immediately will feel like very unusual happiness. Mm -hmm. Power comes into your body like, oops, and then <laughs> a very unusual. I have been in such a state and tell you, this is amazing. At this particular moment, you can do anything. Anything. And meditation, okay. uh, is, this is the key practice, mm -hmm. which helps for this synchronization, which actually pyramid in ancient time have been built for the beginning. Synchronization. So pe when you go, you are doing right. Okay. So we are on the right track. Absolutely. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, one more thing on that line. What is the correct angle of the pyramid according to the years of uh, your long research? Is there any particular angle? No. This is one of the biggest mistakes which people mm -hmm. are doing when talking about the pyramid. Mm -hmm. Because if you take an account, for example, all the pyramids in ancient Egypt, there are hundreds of pyramids, right? Yeah. And all pyramids have a different angle. Why? All. Mm -hmm. Because they have been tuned on a different individuals or on different purposes. Oh. For example, if you want to, if you want, if you plan to empower your mm -hmm. meditation effect, mm -hmm. for this, you should, you must use the proportions the angle of the Cheops pyramid, but at the same time. Mistake is that if you take just proportions, it's, it's wrong. It doesn't work like this. You need to, to build a pyramid which is in resonance, in resonance with Cheops pyramid. Okay. Resonance effect you can get only when you take the height of the pyramid and you divide it twice mm -hmm. or and so on. It's divided. So pyramid, for example, if you take the Cheops pyramid, which is 146 meter high, mm -hmm. if you divide it 10 times, like 14 meters, 60 centimeters, this pyramid will be in resonance with the Cheops pyramid. Mm -hmm. Or you take 146, divide two times, this pyramid, will be in resonance. Or you take the height divided in four times, they'll, this will be in resonance. But if you build something in between, it's not a resonance. Okay. No, yeah. no. Again, angle mm -hmm. is not important. Important is the height of the yeah. pyramid and the basement, the okay. basement. Because mm -hmm. basement of the pyramids must be tuned on the so-called uh, self-individual vibration of the planet Earth mm -hmm. in low frequency of vibration. Like okay. all pyramids, again, all pyramids in the world, especially Egyptian pyramids, they were built according to this principle. So okay. angle plays... It's, it's not important. Important is the height and the square. This is important. Okay. okay. Very interesting. And uh, in your research, you said that uh, like the, in Egypt, the pyramids are different. The height of the pyramids are different. And then the top of the pyramids are different. Like, do you have any idea of uh, which a pyramid is used for what? Or are we still in the research mode? Uh, no, uh, I tell you in general, uh, only, there is only one pyramid in Egypt mm -hmm. which played a role of the pyramid for interplanetary communication. Okay. 
Yeah. This is the Cheops pyramid. Okay. This pyramid have never been tuned on Cheops. No. This pyramid have been tuned for space communication, interplanetary communication. Hmm. All the other pyramids have been tuned on one or another pharaoh oh. to get one or another result. So these pyramids, which were built for pharaohs, they played a role of a cosmic gate. You know, it's a, a stellar gate for this person to get into communication with the gods through the help of the pyramids. Mm -hmm. So, again, Cheops, space communication, all the other, it's pyramids tuned on one or another pharaoh. Very interesting, very interesting to know all this. And one more question from the audience is, what do you actually mean consciously controlled reincarnation? Is it somehow related to human DNA? If yes, no, how? no, no. Actually, this is the knowledge which okay. have been well spread thousands of years ago. Thousands of years. I tell you even more. When I was very carefully investigating the paintings in the caves which you know scientists consider to be made by very primitive people you know 50,000 of years ago primitive people i noticed that in these drawings there is an information about consciously controlled reincarnation it's interesting that people thousands of years ago all of them they knew about this technology but today we have <laughs> lost it yeah Is it this, this is interesting. However, in ancient texts, I have found the description of this technology. So, and what else? Something important I'd like to add. Mm -hmm. Each of us, we have in our DNA yeah. a special specially encoded program for self-development. It's mm -hmm. important. When we are developing from the primitive life, like flowers through yeah. animals, we go through then into the human body. We go because we have, we go this way, because, because we are going along or according to the program. Mm -hmm. And according to this program, the transmission, like a, a step from yeah. first level of human development on the second level of human development will be done through pyramids, meditation, consciously controlled reincarnation. Because, again, people today say, somebody, my parents or my father, my mother, my brother are dead. And we are so sorrow about it. Right? Mm -hmm. We are sorrow. Yeah. I, I say, and I'm writing about it, my God, thanks to you, God, you are the greatest one. Thanks to you that you invented the death. Yes. Because death, this is the only gate, only one gate through which you can make a step on the highest level of development. But the problem is that this step must be done consciously. Not yes. like usually when we are dying and our spirit, our soul, just went somewhere, nobody knows where. This mm -hmm. is, you go through the, you know, through the wheel of reincarnation, reincarnation, and you are finding a chance. Mm -hmm. To find the chance, 
you can you may you can do it through uh, meditation meditation can can help you to make a right step but this is, it should be very special meditation but what ancients knew your predecessors thousands of years ago they knew about it what you should do when somebody is dying yeah. they took the body into the pyramid mm -hmm. yeah. and pyramid properly built pyramid on a proper place proper size everything properly pyramid is capturing your spirit it doesn't fly somewhere it stays in the pyramid oh. this is more and what your predecessors your parents thousands of years ago did when it happened and the spirit was captured in the pyramid your body the body of the took away and immediately put on fire immediately yes. you don't need any more the body forget about it no connection and then they took what means consciously controlled because you can already plan it today you can plan it now then when it the lady must be taken beautiful healthy you know mm -hmm. special and this lady must be almost four months pregnant mm -hmm. so if you take this lady into the pyramid the spirit the spirit goes into embryo <laughs> happened oh. happened oh. this child will be god when when it will you know it mm -hmm. will be burned like you know and then when it will it was born you should take this child back into the pyramid mm -hmm. it means consciously controlled you are controlling your spirit not like it flew away i don't know where it is without control you are controlling your child will be the god genius healthy you know oh it's it's a god it's going to be god yeah. All ancient texts, all ancient texts are talking exactly about this technology. That's why it's called consciously controlled. Because today, even today, I can make a choice. I can, I can see, for example, young boy, which is, has beautiful, strong body, very healthy. I can make a choice of a girl, beautiful, you know, and I can, okay, you should, you should pr produce the embryo for me. Mm -hmm. for me and then when i make this passage consciously i can be um reincarnated within the one year can you imagine within the one year and mm -hmm. this person will be the king of the kings will be the god on the planet earth with absolutely amazing capacity this is exactly what vedas are talking about Oh. and it's very very interesting like how ah, everything this is, is key. related <laughs> yes this is the key oh. that's why i say the buddha knew about it jesus christ knew about it by the way jesus was the last one who actually planned to show people how to make it but mm -hmm. church killed him church killed him for that it's another story. I'm writing a book about it now, about Jesus Christ. But I tell you, all people, all these highly spiritual people, thousands of years ago, they knew about consciously controlled reincarnation. I found many texts about it. It's very interesting the way you are explaining it to us. It's like piece of cake. I'm sure you have done a lot of research on that to talk about oh, yeah. it to us. It is like, it's... It's very uh, interesting that how you explain it to us in a common people, I, how they can understand. In any way, if, if among the people will be interested, uh, I can make a few presentations just showing you some interesting information. Sure. You, amazing, amazing. It turns upside down everything. It turns the world like this, boom, and you see the world absolutely different. And then, wow. and then, then you have, you get a real choice. Because today, you have no choice. Mm -hmm. You have nothing to make it. You have no choice. You even don't know what will happen with you tomorrow. 
true. But God, listen, God, he cannot live like this. He need to know yeah. what can happen tomorrow. Not only one way. You, you need to know as many chances as possible. And then when you have thousands of chances, you can make your choice. Which yeah. way to go? And this exactly have been done with the help of the pyramid and meditation in the pyramid. Wow. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. We would, we would love that. The way you are telling us is go to the store and you can pick what you want. And that's what is happening. <laughs> exactly. 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 Nice. Nice. Yeah, definitely we'll have one more session with you. And I think the last question that uh, uh, the people were asking was, uh, what is the best way to begin using power of pyramids at home in meditation? Where first can we all, find out and buy first one? Of all, first of all, you need to read the Valerie Uvarov's book. Okay. First of all, I would really? recommend, because then you will be very knowledgeable. You, you will know what and how it works. Only then start doing. Yeah. Then I think maybe this is the way, this is the chance for us to translate my books into Indian language. Why not? Yeah. We already translated in Vietnamese language, thanks to my friends from Vietnam. Mm -hmm. By the way, also the meditation group of Vietnam, beautiful people. It's my family, really my family. My, I am now sitting here in St. Petersburg in Russia, but biggest part of my heart and my body is there together with them. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I miss them so much. So um, they have translated this book, published this book, and now people can read it, what I would recommend. And then we can make serious steps. Yeah, definitely we will, uh, we will see if we can translate because a lot of people are so much into pyramid power and pyramid meditation. And I'm sure uh, uh, PSSM, uh, we, will, uh, we will look into that and then it will be a pleasure to do that. First of all, also, uh, I'd like to give you another example. It's like when you are buying a rocket yeah. and you, if you want to fly to the moon, first of all, learn how to rule the rocket and only yeah. then fly the same That's with the true. pyramid. On, the same with the pyramid. First of all, <laughs> learn how it works. Yeah, then you can take the advantage of yes. it. Definitely, I think by writing the book or by rewriting, uh, by translating, it will really give us a lot of good insights about it. I can assure you. <laughs> yeah, we will. Uh, that would be our uh, next project. You know, maybe let's, <laughs> let's see. You know, amazing that in Vietnam, they did it for one month. We just have been talking in one month or in maximum in three, two months. It was already translated. In three months, it was published. Wow. <laughs> we will do it too. Yeah. Yes. I think Vietnam, you have... Vietnam is really great. <laughs> They're working really great. Oh, my gosh. You have inspired us so much, the technology and then the research behind it. I mean, the, our ancients had it. And we are learning from them. We are trying to learn from them step by step. And I think you are the channel for that. Yeah, they left so much information. You need to get back access to this information. Actually, what I learned, especially, especially consciously controlled, this is the beginning. It's from India. Honestly, it's from India, Iran, from that area. It comes from that area. Later, it came to Egypt. Later. But it starts from there.